Welcome to Conquer and Support. We are here to help you succeed in your math class this semester. Lots of research has been conducted on what it takes to successfully learn new material. This course will help you focus on three main components of successful learning. Number one, time. Learning takes time. Regular time set aside and dedicated to learning. Number two, good learning strategies. Brain research on how people learn has identified that there are strategies that are better than others at maximizing the effectiveness of time spent learning and can help streamline and improve the learning process. Three, productive effort spent learning. Putting in effort, even lots of effort, does not guarantee that successful learning takes place. Using good strategies and engaging in productive learning activities will support successful learning. Concurrent support will help you with each of these. Statewide California data shows that students are more likely to succeed when they enroll in their target college level math course and concurrent support, significantly more likely to succeed than enrolling in the course without support or enrolling in the course before as preparation. So congratulations on taking the first step in supporting your learning. Definition of a college unit is that for every one unit of class, the expectation is that the student spends two to three hours on average outside of class understanding the material in completing assignments. If the college class is a core class, such as English, math, or science, the average is three hours. This is opposite of high school, where most of the time is spent in class and less time is spent learning and completing assignments outside of class. In college, little time is spent in the class, and most of the time is spent outside of the class learning and completing assignments. For example, in a statistics class, such as our Math 40, which is a four-unit college-level course, the expectation is that every student will spend four times three, which equals 12 hours per week outside of class doing homework, completing labs, studying, preparing for assignments, etc. This definition of a college unit is why full-time students are taking 15 units, dedicating on average 30 to 45 hours per week towards their college education. In concurrent support, you will be completing three of those hours with us. To support your success this semester, concurrent support courses will encourage good learning habits. Brain research is clear that consistent, dedicated time is the most effective way to learn and retain learning. Attendance will be taken each class to encourage consistent time dedicated to learning. The easiest way to complete attendance is by regularly attending during your class time, either in person in room 21119 or online via Zoom. Sometimes life gets in the way and we understand and we'll work with you. If you are unable to attend your support course, there are additional ways you can satisfy hours. We encourage you to attend other concurrent support sections, either to make up missed hours or to receive more support. If you need to miss class, we encourage you to regularly engage with your instructor, such as through email or discussion posts. Let them know how you're doing, what you're working on in class, or what you could use help with. Overall, concurrent support wants you to attend 45 total hours a semester out of the 53 hours the class is scheduled to meet. Attendance counts towards 15% of your overall grade. During class time, you will have the opportunity to develop good learning strategies. These are the skills and habits necessary to succeed in your math class and later on in the workforce. We have developed activities around things that are supported by brain research to improve and streamline learning or to expose you to career and campus opportunities to enhance your college experience. As part of your overall grade, we want you to complete any five that interest you. There's no homework and concurrent support. These activities should be done in class. We recommend that you complete them in our class during the first two weeks so you can apply them for the rest of the semester. Here's a list of successful learning and career activities that you can choose from. We ask that you select any five. These will count as 25% of your overall grade. A favorite one is how to take focus notes and learn from your notes. I always thought that if I wrote everything down from class that I was effectively learning. Research on how we learn is very clear that taking notes is only step one. Complete this activity to find out what the other four are. Another favorite, how to prepare for a test or quiz. The career coach um, exploring careers in your area of interest is awesome. I take it regularly. 
For the rest of the semester, class time will be dedicated to applying the skills to learn productively. During class time in person or in Zoom breakout rooms, you will be productively learning by working on assignments from your math class, such as homework or math labs, collaboratively working on a challenging problem with others, such as ones from lecture or assignments that you want to understand better, watching relevant math support videos available for each target math class and organized by section, studying content from your math class using your focus notes, learning from your mistakes by correcting assessments taken in your target math class, preparing for an upcoming quiz or test preparation, getting help from instructors or embedded tutors, and more. Part of your overall grade is to work on any one of these productive learning activities in class. Complete one each week in class for 15 weeks total. Again, there's no homework in concurrent support. This is what you should be doing in our class time together. And this counts as 60% of your grade. Concurrent support can be taken for credit or non-credit. The experience and expectations for the class is the same. If you are taking the class for credit, then your course has M-A-T-H, as a descriptor in class web, such as Math 100C, Math 101C, Math 66, etc. Credit math classes cost tuition. They also count as one unit. This one unit can qualify for financial aid. Credit classes can only be repeated if you do not pass the class. If you have passed the class, it cannot be repeated. These credit classes will also appear on your official transcript. If you are taking the class for non-credit, then your course has NMAT as a descriptor in class web, such as NMAT 200C or NMAT 201C. Non-credit classes are tuition-free. They do not cost you anything as a student. They also have a zero unit count, and therefore they do not qualify for financial aid. Non-credit classes are repeatable, even if you pass a class, as many times as you want to take them. These will not appear on the official credit transcript. For example, transfer institutions only want to see your credit transcript, and these will not appear on them. For both credit and non-credit concurrent support, you will have a grade of pass or no pass. There will be no cost for materials. You will have the same requirements of attending completing assignments, etc., and these are not degree applicable. To summarize, your overall grade breakdown for this class will be based on completing any five successful learning activities of your choice. This is 25% of your overall grade. Complete 15 productive learning activities that ensure that your effort is spent effectively monitoring your learning, such as working on your math assignments, studying, preparing for tests, etc. This is 60% of your grade. Regularly attend class to ensure consistent time is being dedicated to learning. We ask that you spend 45 hours total this semester out of the 53 hours this class will meet. This is 15% of your overall grade. A pass is an overall score of 70% to 100%. Not passing is zero to 69%. If you have any questions, please reach out to any concurrent support instructor. We look forward to having a great semester with you.